Happen to me if anything happened to me, 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 if anything Jesus being God. Once you're able to debunk this particular point, everything in the house of Christianity collapses, you see. It absolutely collapses. So the methodology to apply would be for someone like um, um, wrong way around God can become a man. But I suggest you read um, Numbers Catholic Jack 23, 19 and Hosea 11, 9. Um, so if God can become a man, which is what your belief is, yet this is contrary to what Jesus states as a man, because you would assume that if God can become a man, God still holds his inherent qualities of being God. So God should know everything. Would you agree with that, Catholic? It's just, I mean, he says, I, mean, speak, I don't know why he's typing. He just come onto the platform. If he's at work or whatever, I'm sure he can take a five minute break if he can type away another conversation. But anyway, the way to go forward is to really, you know, um, disseminate their arguments on Jesus being God. Because Jesus him says, himself says, of my own free will, I can do nothing. So why here, as I judge, my judgment comes from God. So if he indeed was God, one of the, well, the second of the second member of the Trinity, then why does he not have a will? So when he says, I do not do my will, but the will of God, then that, so that tells us that he has got no will of his own. But that should not be the case if he's God as well, because his will should also be in accordance with God's will. So, I mean, I don't understand that God, wrong way around. God can become a man. I mean, that's um, it's preposterous. But if you read the Old Testament, which I'm not sure if he's read, Numbers 23, 19, and um, Hosea 11, 9, it clearly says that God is not a man. So um, I don't know how you're going to make that particular uh, particular argument. But this is where um, essentially the history of Christianity sloped towards making God into a man, you see. Similar to the polytheistic beliefs, that paganistic beliefs, idolatrous beliefs, Hindu type of Hinduistic type of beliefs that you know a man can become God. But unfortunately the New Testament, if you read it in its context, it's not really highlighting that which Christians have latterly understood. I mean it's a clear distinction. If you read Mark chapter ten verse seventeen, my most favourite verse in the whole New Testament, that really crushes the, the understanding that Jesus is possibly God in any way, shape or form. So if Catholic was to come on, we could have an excellent conversation about this particular point. 
these points that Abdul Razak is making, he highlights those points within within the video. But in terms of the general understanding um, that uh, they that they're speaking about, it's clear Bob the Builder doesn't understand the academic points that um, he's making reference to. So I would encourage everybody to watch that video. But when you're speaking to Christians in particular, the best methodology would be to first dissect their view that Jesus is God, and the, and the Bible will help you out in that. The Bible will really help you out. And if you understand the difference between uh, the Jesus of, th of theology or uh, the Jesus of history, then it's a great study. It's like a nice little study topic, and you'll come to the conclusion. Which today's Most of today's um, Christian scholars have come to the conclusion that they amazingly believe in the historical Jesus, meaning the actual person who walked and talked on the earth um, 2,000 years ago. He did not go around... Um, claiming to be God, or neither did he make any mention to being God. So what happened essentially of Christianity, it became a religion about Jesus rather than a religion of Jesus. Notice those two words, about Jesus rather than of Jesus. So this latterly became they were singularly about Jesus when he made no claims of that. So Jesus is earlier message from the earlier gospel was um, very much about the kingdom of heaven him being a human prophet who would do the work of god this was this was the earlier accounts but later it became a religion about jesus or so people began to believe in these mythological claims that he was god and how these types of whispers would then accumulate within the communities that he that, that you know that were prevalent at the time the roman greco world we believe that people who did miracles they must be some God in some essence. So these are the points that we normally need to um, dissect, crucifixion, uh, original sin. These are the points that if Christians can come on board, it can really, you know, um, uh, really break these points down in every way, shape or form. So I'd encourage Christians to come on the board and uh, come onto the platform and, you know, speak about this particular, uh, particular issue. What is something that doesn't sit right with you? I'm about to read you this word for word so you don't have to. This information is very researchable. Between 1502 and 1503, Caesar Borgia hired Leonardo da Vinci to be an architect and engineer, in which him and Leonardo da Vinci became intimate lovers in a homosexual relationship. Expressing his love for Caesar, Leonardo painted pictures of him. Caesar's father, Rodrigo Borgia, who later became Pope Alexander VI, under the authority of the Catholic Church elite, had his son's picture up as Jesus Christ in the Western world, and ordered every picture of a black Jesus destroyed. Caesar also had relations with his own sister, Lucrezia, and killed his own brother, Giovanni, in 1497. And this is the man whom the Catholic Church gave their consent to allow his picture to be put up, and to be portrayed as Jesus Christ.